Random Play is being brought to you by the Soft Rock Cafe, <laughs> where the soothing sounds of easy listening makes for mellow digestion. Take a moment to view our historic artifacts from the world of Soft Rock. Dan Fokelberg's comfy cardigan, Neil Diamond's Spidel watch with plenty of his actual wrist hair, and the real John Oates. The whole family will love our inoffensive cuisine. At the Soft Rock Gift Shop, pick up Seals That Bastard by Cross and Cross That Son of a Bitch by Seals. And look who's doing the valet parking. The guys from Styx. For when you're ready to sail away. At the Soft Rock Cafe, enjoy a light atmosphere without jarring music or the company of rappers, punkers, dirty hippies, or jazz lovers. You pick a song to start the day, you choose a tune to get away from Welcome one and all to the 1999 Rock Games. These games are promising to be the most exciting ever. The picking up a phone and dialing competition is about to begin. Let's go right down to the field to our special correspondent, Sporty Spike. Sporty? Spike Spot! I'm here on the field with this year's contestants of the Rock Games. Hello, Sean Puffy Cones, aka Puff Daddy. How you feeling about this? How's your train for it? Well, you know, I've been sampling a lot of Jesse Owens, Kyle Lewis, you know what I'm saying? Super fantastic, great right for you. And Sir Elton John in that something. Hey, Elton, how are you feeling about this? I have to say, Elton, how come you haven't got your helmet on? Well, um, I didn't believe it went with the outfit. Uh, I've got to work in this race for Princess Diana. For Diana. Great! And Madonna, fan favorite, big fan favorite. Madonna is. Hi, what's up? Who are you fighting this race for? I'm doing it for the Kabbalah Institute of Sacramento. So thoughtful, really. Now, what this lot will have to do is do a race and get to the phone. Now, it's Can we a real just do the race. It's a real actual phone, and what they have to do is make a restaurant reservations by themselves. It's very exciting. <laughs> Just five minutes into this event, and the action is amazing. I'm hungry and need food! What's this? Elton is making his move. Ooh, but here comes Madonna. Yes, I would like to make dinner reservations for a kajillion people. That's gotta hurt. Puff Daddy wins by default. Yeah! Well, an exciting end to round one. When we come back, it's the Making Toast competition as the 1999 Rock Games rolls on. Madonna, you've always had a wee bit of a sticky time with the dial in a phone event, eh? Says who? I have not. You English? I had no idea. No, why would you assume that? He's got attitude, that one, eh? Attitude. <laughs> Coming this season, Johnny Rock, P.I. Hello, Los Angeles, sir. Are you ready to rock? I said, are you ready to rock? Have you ever murdered a man about five foot three and left him in a box behind the 7 Eleven at La Siena and Melrose? Yeah! Oh, says there's your man right there. Johnny Rock, P.I. Crime has finally met its man! <laughs> Thank you.
Is everybody in? Is everybody in? The ceremony's about to begin. Hello, searchers, followers, people of this day. I am the Vision, the man known as the Shaman. Or you can call me by my other name, Dan Goldblatt. <laughs> Led us to the dance of the American Indian. My parents abandoned me when I was a child. Raised by the Hopis of Greenwich, Connecticut. Delivered to them through the tribal warrior Kunjo and the Stamford Foster Family Program. When I became a man, my surrogate father told me that I was the chosen one. A shaman. He told me that I must travel west to find my shaman partner. I will begin here tonight. Hello, fair princess. What is your name? Christine. Christine, you are a tasty jelly bean. Uh -huh. Christine, I'd like to take you to the lily pad where we'll dance beneath the lizard moon. I'll feed you liquid peyote mixed with mountain dew. Enchanted and wicked, we will then ride the magic snake to the tomb of love, i.e. the backseat of my Chrysler LeBaron. <laughs> Christine, I have tickets for Stomp Friday night. What do you say? No. Hello, squirrely female. What is your name? Laura. Laura. I like to. Laura, oh, if you are. Come on, baby! Oh, yeah. Laura, last night I met a merchant on the highway, the information superhighway. He sold me the precious seeds of life and a rare Kobe Bryant rookie card still in plastic. <laughs> he will send the seeds from a land far away known as Amsterdam. They will bring us great vision. Laura, what do you say? Cirque du Soleil next week with me? Ladies, let me remind you, don't be afraid to squeeze the shaman. Hello, Delicate Sunrise. What is your name? Jen. Jen, come back to my shaman bed, i.e. the back seat of my Chrysler Libera. Jen, there's a mighty storm in the mist known as El Nino. Be pretty handy to have a shaman around, don't you think? Okay, Jen. Well, if you change your mind, I might be able to find you a part in my new movie, The Shamanator. <laughs> Folks, I'll be here Saturday with my band, The Next Doors. Remember, ladies drink free with the password, break on through. Hello, baby! Ooh, yeah! Welcome back. We have some breaking news to report. While we were away, Elton John was disqualified for allowing Bernie Taupin to fill out his entry form. So now it's down to Madonna and Puff Daddy. It's time now for one of my absolute favorite competitions. Get in a car and turn the key. And remember, no chauffeurs allowed. They are both surveying the vehicle, slowly setting up. Madonna makes a move. Get going, you wanker! I've got to get back to me flat! Hello! Madonna still has no idea there's no chauffeur. Well, she seems to be doing better than Puff Daddy. Start! Start! Wow, this challenge has really thrown both Madonna and Puff Daddy Start. for a huge loop. Hello! Hello! Start! Come on! This will hurt both of them in the overalls. Stick around. We'll be right back. Hey, Puff Daddy! Hey, you are! How's it going, eh? Uh, you know, I had a little trouble on that car thing, you know, true that. I was, like, trying to get it started. I was throwing mad loot at it, you know what I mean? Yo. I didn't understand what you said. When you talking like that was really what I mean. I mean, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> Well, tell him he's fired. This company has principles. I don't have time for this. All right, next order of business. Kyle, Lindy. Oh, it's Linda, sir. Whatever. Sir, this report is in regard to Dive Track's recent acquisition of Futurescope Records and its subsidiary labels. In the spirit of downsizing, we believe that if Dive Track keeps just one-tenth 
of the Future Scope recording artists and merges, merges them. them. <laughs> Our profits will increase, and I do not believe I'm overstating this, 963%. Merges the recording artists, I'm not sure. Sir, if I could play devil's advocate for just one moment, merging recording artists, I'm not sure. Please, sir, with all due respect, just hear us out. Go on. Okay. For example, if popular R&B rap star Puff Daddy sells 16 million albums by himself, why not merge him with Shania Twain, who sells 12 million albums, and then all of a sudden, whoop, Puff Shania Daddy selling 28 million records. Go on. Now, we all know Barry Manilow doesn't sell as many CDs as he used to. But we team him up with Death Rockers Megadeth. Look out, America, it's Megalow. So, I don't want to be a negative Nelly, but Barry Manilow? Okay. Soul Divas TLC mixed with XTC, Master P, ELO, ABC, NWA, and SWV. Hey, there we go. T, X, C, C, E, A, L, O, B, C, P, S, W, A, N, Y. It's catchy. Or take classic rocker Jeff Beck. We team him up with the hottest act in the world, Beck. What do we got? A Jeff Beck Beck. <laughs> Look, I don't want to poo-poo in anybody's banana split, but merging recording artists, I'm not sure. Interesting. So if we take Paul Newman and Snoopy, it would be Paul Snoopy. Right. <laughs> Paul Snoopy. Brilliant. I just thought of that. And we've got other ideas as well. Let's see. We merged the Kinks, Sugar Ray, the Dixie Chicks, they might be giants, and I don't know, who do you think, Kyle? Maybe the world's biggest band? Throw them in there, the Rolling Stones. <laughs> Suddenly, it's they might be sugary chicks who are kinky and roll around the Dixie Stones. <laughs> Ray. <laughs> Go on. To your new corner offices, Kyle and Lindy, you guys are geniuses. Paul Snippy. Brilliant. Wait till I tell my suits about my new idea. It was your idea. It was. Uh, hello. Hey, how are you? Come on in. What can I do you for? Yeah, I, um, I'm here to pick up some songs you were going to write for me. Uh -huh. I sent you some poems and a check. My uh -huh. name is Lupfer. Lupfer. Lupfer, Lupfer, Lupfer. She'll be coming round the Lupfer when she comes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> go on. <clears throat> oh, yes, John Lupfer. Very nice stuff. You, sir, are a very talented lyricist. Wow, so it came out good, huh? Well, look, I don't want to raise your expectations, but I think it's the greatest piece of music ever written. <laughs> come on back and wait for you. All right. All right. Then <sighs> Pop it into the old magic box. <laughs> Ready for magic time? Yes, I am. Ever since I met you, girl, you've been the center of my lonely world. And I can't seem to keep my thoughts on anything else. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. Now listen, this is where I helped you out a little bit. Check this out. Okay. Baby, I'm gonna climb up into your golden branches. <laughs> Myself on your sweet, sweet honey. Yeah, I want you to wrap your sexy thighs around my waist and whirl me. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't write that part. What's that? The sexy part, John. Every song needs a sexy part. I don't know. Bear with me. Check it out. Your smile is like a beam of light that brightens up the darkest night. I want to slice you open like an overripe pomegranate and bury my face into your fleshy fruit. And okay, okay, stop it. Wait a minute, man. What the hell? Uh, John, correct me if I'm wrong, but you asked me to write a good song. Yes? Yes, I did. Yes, you did, and so I wrote a good song. Now, every song needs a sex part. That's what sells. Sex sells. Look, this song is for a girl I've been seeing for like three weeks. I can't play her that. And what about the other song, the one for my uh, parents' anniversary? Uh-uh. 
What do you mean, uh-uh? Uh-uh, I mean it was crap, John. It was album filler. The critics will have us for lunch. Critic? What are you talking about? Would you please just write the damn song for my parents? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, let me just write the damn song for you. Right. <clears throat> like that? You like that beat? Bop, happy anniversary. Mm -hmm. Bop, mom and dad anniversary. Mm -hmm. Bop, happy anniversary to you. All right, mm -hmm. that's Hanson. What's Hanson? The song that you're playing, that's Hanson. Well, John, you didn't let me finish. Would you let me finish, have a seat, and listen? Daddy, you remember on that long, hot night so many years ago when you climbed on top of your sexy, trembling love beast? My mom. Okay, stop it. You know what? That's my parents you're talking about. You're disgusting. And a fraud. You're a disgusting fraud. Hello, are you the music writing guy? Uh, yes, I am. How can I help you? We wrote these lyrics for our grandmother's 75th birthday party. We were hoping you could put them to music. Yeah, let me take a look, see. Grandmother. You're the shining light of our family. Why, you are our family's Venus. Oh, yeah, I can definitely work with these. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Girls ever been in a Trans Am? What I am is just a guy who keeps the show on the road. I consider myself a diplomat between the band on stage, the band. Hey, Nikki, what's up? What up, G? Uh, oh, donuts, great. You guys, good, good show. Hey, knock him dead. We've developed a series of very technical hand movements. If Danny on guitar needs a beer, he'd make this, this movement here. I've been hit in the head by rocks, shoes, uh, bombs, pipes, shoes, but lots of shoes. It's a lot of hard work. There's tons of stuff to know and tons to keep your eye out for. But it's really cool when it all comes together and at the end of the night, it's just totally awesome. Score. Coming this season, Johnny Rock P.I. Let me handle this. Hello, Huey Lipsis Nursing Home. Are you ready to bingo? Oh, yeah. Under the B, B for bloody butchery, we've got 21. B, 21. Bingo! Officer, oh, there's your lady right there. Uh -oh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Johnny Rock P.I. He always gets his man! comes down to this, the final climactic event, the obstacle course. Let's go down to Sporty Spice, who's joined by Elton John. Elton, are you a wee bit heartbroken after being disqualified? To be honest, Sporty, I could give two shits. I mean, I've been in this event 24 times. All right, Puff and Madonna must each carry a 1,300-pound keg of beer filled with cement 25 yards. Even with the peril of cement, she's still the queen of sexy. Oh, my God, look at those shoes! Now they must pull a three-ton limo, 400 yards, using nothing but their teeth. Hey, you go! Poor Peaches, good dog. Peaches. Oh my God! Elton John, who was disqualified earlier, is on the field. He's trying to rip off Madonna's shoes. Hey! hey. 
Puff Daddy is the 1999 Rock Games champion. For Sporty Spice, I'm Pat O'Brien. Stay tuned for a very special edition of Jimmy Walker, Texas Ranger. <laughs> So no one told you life was gonna be this way. I love that theme song. It's a great theme song for a TV show, but they should never have released it as a single. They just slapped on another verse without even thinking, and I could prove it. Burned your breakfast so far, things are going great. You burned your breakfast? I don't know anyone in their 20s who burns their breakfast, because I don't know anyone in their 20s who cooks their breakfast. But I would let that slide if it weren't for this next line. The next line goes like this. Your mother warned you there'd be days like these. Your mama told you there'd be days like these, but the first line of the song is No one told you that was gonna be this way They forgot what they wrote. 30 seconds into their own damn song, they forgot what they wrote. The world's going to hell and we're all clapping along. 